Anchored images are text or graphics or groups of both that you'd like to travel with copy. It's excellent for curriculum development where you might have a screenshot that you want to occur always below a paragraph so that if you add new text or break the paragraphs, it will travel up or down. I'm going to start by selecting this group of objects over in the pasteboard. These you'll see as many pieces, text, text, a line, and an image that's been grouped together. I'll choose Edit, Cut, and double-click to get on this empty line in my text. Now I'll choose Edit, Paste. That creates an inline or anchored graphic. So if I decide to break this paragraph and press Return or Enter, this image traveled down with it. I'll go back to my selection tool, click on this group of objects, choose Edit, Cut, double click to get back to my Type tool and inside the text box, and press Tab once and Paste. And now these if I add multiple returns or hit enter several times, will always travel with my text. If I wanted to put an anchored object outside the margin, I first used this for a large cookbook where they wanted to put a chef's tip in the margin, but it needed to be tied to a recipe, so it needed to flow up or down on pages if they added more paragraphs or altered that recipe. So with my cursor here, I'm going to choose Object, Anchored Object, and insert. And with the anchored object, I want the reference point for the object itself to be the upper left corner. When I set the position, start creating the object from here. Now the position of the object, I also will have to left corner, but the anchored position of the object, I want to the right of this text box. I have a notes area over here. So the object itself I'll measure from upper left, and I want this going from the right edge of the text frame and I'll offset it 0.1, a tenth of an inch. As for the width, I can resize that manually. So I'll just click OK, and there I've got an anchored object. If I click on it once, it becomes a text container, and I'll choose File Place, and I'll place the note text from my Assets and Text Files folder. Then I'll use my Selection tool to stretch this until I see the entire note. Looks good. And again, if I decide to break this paragraph and add a new return, this note text is always traveling up or down with that line of type. In fact, I'll return this to one continuous paragraph, and we'll finish off by anchoring another object just with the place command. On page 2 in my Pages panel, I double-click to get to 2, and I'll click here, and I have an example of three different images where the resolution and size has been modified. So I'll choose File, Place, and I'll go into my Chapter 6 folder and into the Images folder. And I'm going to choose the Golfer images. When I hit Open, that also created an anchored or inline graphic, so it formats as if it were text. I could click on that line and center the image, to the whole paragraph, left align it, right align it, it behaves as an inline or anchored graphic. So anchored graphics are outstanding for curriculum development, technical manuals where you have screenshots maybe from the computer screen that you want to travel with the original, even menus where you might have a little heart next to the healthy stuff. And when you add new menu items, you want that heart to always travel up or down with the individual line item. So that is your overview of anchored objects that can be placed or copied and pasted into a text frame or anchored objects that are linked to a line of type. And you'll notice this little icon under Type, Show Hidden Characters, I have them on. The little Y with the lines through it is the symbol that an object has been anchored to that spot or that line. And if I select the anchored object, and choose View, Extras, Show Text Threads, I could see this thread anchoring the graphic over to the right.